Hi everyone, Don Gennetti, lighting-essentials.com, project52prosystem.com. If you're thinking about being a professional photographer or doing professional work, I'd like you to check us out over at www.project52prosystem.com. It may be just what you need. I like to get into some of our students' uh, work today. Uh, food shoots. We're going to do. We're going to look at eight shots. Uh, shot of food with one single light. So uh, I think you're going to like this. We're going to start out here with a, a photographer from Sweden named Anders. And Anders is a a, a, a really great shooter and a, a longtime member of Project 52. And he shoots in a, an old shed that he has behind his house for texture and color and stuff. And this is a beautiful food shot, wouldn't you say? Lovely light coming in the window. We've got textures. I love the verticals and horizontals on this side and the verticals and horizontals on that side. Isn't that a nice balance? Lovely light all the way through. Drag the shutter for the candle. Um, very little Photoshop other than a little bit of contrast. And how did he do it? Well, he took his light outside, say, pro photo shining through the window. That's it. Took the light outside, blasted it through the window, put a white card over here for a little fill, opened up the shadows a little bit. You can see just as this basket goes around here, you can see it just pick up a little bit of highlight on this side, just a little bit of fill. We can see a little bit of it in the cup. We can see a little bit of it in the hand, but just enough fill to uh, open the shadows a little bit and give us a great sense of lighting. That's Anders in Sweden. Cody's here in Phoenix, right where I'm located here in Phoenix, and this lovely pie photograph she did. Um, look at how the how beautiful the light feels coming from the back. You know, it's just really, really nice. And it's shot on a windowsill. That's it, just the window. The sun's setting behind us uh, and hitting this uh, uh, the edge of the window inside and out, putting some bright light. She put a white card up. To bounce it back and we ended up with this beautiful clean bright poppy pie shot uh, it's just lovely all the detail is here it's just a lovely shot and I just just really love it and look how simple it was not a whole lot of of gear etc went into this Dan Fredericks Dan Fenwick I'm sorry Dan Fenwick's up in Reno Nevada area uh, shooting food up there and this is his uh, ice cream, and it's a uh, it's a gluten free uh, uh, paleo uh, pumpkin cookie here. Really, really cool recipe uh, with no uh, no wheats and flours, etc. In it, uh, so ice cream here on the side. Look at that great lighting! Isn't that cool? It creates his light kind of an interesting way here. Soft box with strobe in front. Soft box with a single strobe in front of the soft box as well. Strobes tuned just a little bit different than the soft box, just a little bit brighter. And that gives us these beautiful highlights through here with very open uh, shadow. You can see the, uh, the fill card over here. We got a little fill card that was used to open up the shadows from the, from the, on the right side over in here, beautifully done, but uh, just a great lighting all the way through. James Kern's also using strobe for his shot. James, James uses a lot of color in his work. He's up north of the Bay Area, the Chico area of California, uh, shooting food. Really, really astounding um, color photographer. Loves, this, loves the color, really pulls our eye in. And he used a very basic, simple kind of lighting for his food, which is a soft box behind some translum, which is a diffusion material to his set. Camera coming this way, backlight onto the, the set. So uh, very bright diffusion behind. That can be a window. You could think of this as a window. It can certainly be a window light as well. Uh, but James is 
uh, choosing to shoot it with strobe. And really nothing up front for fill at all, letting the front go very dark, letting the shadows fall real heavily here. Uh, he, the, uh, James really does like that contrast and it works out very well for this shot. Very simple, hang some transloom, put a strobe behind it. I think you're gonna like John McAllister, John's over in the UK, shooting this coffee shot, beautifully designed. Wonderful composition all the way through. Coffee looks freshly poured. We've got texture, we've got design. We've got this beautiful little corridor of light coming through here. Now John's also shooting with strobe and using a piece of black foam core to create this triangle of light that you see here coming into the set. Notice how the softbox is actually aimed away from the set. It's aimed behind the set. This is the feather. He's using the feather of the softbox, and he's also shaping the softbox to fit down through this little corridor right here really well. Let's go back up to the light. Beautifully presented, great shadows, uh, no fill at all, just letting the shadows fall where they may. Nice shot, John. Rose created this uh, lovely bacon shot here. And Rose has got some great light coming from the back. We've got the bacon's a little translucent right in here. The great highlights all the way here. Looks like beautiful wind light, window light. Rose is actually shooting with a softbox behind a scrim, backlighting and coming in low to get that highlight sweeping through here. So much texture in the in the eggs and the bacon and and all the way through the cutting board, just really a lovely shot. Really strong sense of, of light and a very easy setup to do. Got white cards around to present, pre present fill uh, all the way through here. And again, lovely shot. Tammy is over in, in uh, Denmark. And Tammy is trying uh, something we call dark field lighting. And that is, there's only one light in the picture, and it's backlit. Even though it's black back here, it's backlit. We have the, uh, the stemware here filled with the raspberries. We do have a bounce card up front to give this little shape right here. That's an option. You don't necessarily have to do that, Tammy. Uh, put it in. But what is dark field lighting? Well, essentially... The light is coming from all around the back. We just put black behind the subject. And then the light kind of sneaks its way around to the edges. Back and look at the shot. You can see the light up on the edges of the, of the berries and along the edges of the stemware down here all the way across the bottom. It's really lovely. Very well done. It's called dark field lighting. Try it. You may like it. Virginia over in California. Um, really a uh, very soft, subtle, natural piece here. Virginia shooting film. This is a film shot, film uh, shot on film and scanned. And uh, open, very open shadows, very, very open light all the way around uh, on this great old blue surface. And Virginia is also using window light, just one single window with some cards around it, plates right here, and she's shooting it. Film shot by Virginia Smith over in, in California, Southern California. Um, really, really some beautiful shots here. When you say strawberries and the berries, and the bacon, coffee, interesting stew, ice cream and cookies, a pie, and a little bit of dessert. All of these shot with one light. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you uh, like the content we're doing here on the channel, please subscribe. It's 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 somewhere uh, 
but I, I, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at some of these uh, students' work, and uh, see you next time.